What do we do with this? We can do a lot of cool things with it. All right, so what I have is I took our melting pot. I put in our new um, our melting pot liner. So this, of course, is like a project liner. So it's got a little craft sheet. It's designed to cut out. It's got these little tabs. Easy in, easy out. It's really nice. And I'm going to go in and let's get some embellishments. Are you the one that plays up nice things like that? Really we actually nice. did this for our CHA winter class for Vintage. Um, and we just cut them out at Ranger and everyone's like, do you sell those? And we're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I we, guess we will. I'm like, we were just thinking of a way that you didn't have to like pick that thing out with tweezers or a little spatula. So yeah, everyone's like, you need to sell them. So now Ranger does. So here, let me just take, you could do a lot. This is a great thing to do with a lot of uh, metal embellishments or charms or findings that you might have. But here, I'm just going to go in. This is the new um, festive foliage. This is a, just a, the great little metal flowers. And we'll take this brad right here. Excellent. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to go in with my metal and I'm just going to lay it right there, right in my melting pot but right on my little liner, okay? Now when we do this, this is going to touch the surface, but it's also gonna get really hot because it's gonna conduct heat. And I can go in with my different embossing powders. You can work with a variety of powders. I like to work with distress powders for this. Uh, one, because I love the texture. And two, these don't get as fluid as the other ones, so they're not going to uh, run and drip. They're gonna actually be a little bit more stable. So what I'm gonna do on this one, go with my powders, just take a pinch of that. And as soon as it touches that metal, it's melting on contact. So it's fusing itself right to the metal. Now when you work with embossing powders, you've got to try different ones out because not all powders are going to work the same. Like for example, Adirondack powders. Those have a white core. So if you tried this with an Adirondack embossing powder, as soon as that melts, it's all going to go white. It doesn't matter what color you use. So try them out. This one I'll go in, we'll do a little bit of green. So we'll use some peeled paint on there. And I'm just taking a little pinch of it with my fingers and just twisting my fingers together. It doesn't take a lot. We can do the center of that with a little bit of mustard seed. So you'll notice when this powder melts, it's designed to have a matte finish. So if I want to create a little bit more of a glaze, you can go in with a variety of powders. I can go in with ultra thick if I wanted to. So I can put ultra thick or I can just take regular clear embossing powder and I can glaze these. So I can go in with different glitter powders or anything, but look, as soon as it touches that, see how it just becomes liquid? Totally enamels those. Gives it a great shine. And you can put as much of that on there as you want. It just melts on contact. Isn't that cool? Been out of its for years. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I love this. I love the, the look that that gives it. So, as that's melting, we're going to let those leaves melt. I really poured it on pretty big there. It's all right. You can see that the distress powders, they have like those, those kind of little granules in there, so it really gives it uh, that nice distress look. I love all the little speckles that it gives. And you can put as much or as little of that clear on as you want. Obviously, I wanted mine to be really shiny. So I put quite a bit on there, but you wouldn't need to. All right. So once that melts, doo -doo -doo, just about done. Instead of having to go in there and deal with this and pick this out, now I can just take the two tabs of this, pick it up, take it out, and it's flat and it's gonna cool. Yeah, it's very convenient, this crazy little thing. You get two of them in a package. They're pretty neat. So now I will go in, I use a pick or I'll use whatever, I, and I'm just going to go in and lift these off. Just make sure all this is cool. Good. So I just pick these right off the liner. And now you can go in and just break that excess stuff off. Take your pick. You can pick right through the center. Because it cools really fast when it comes out of the liner. That's another big difference. If you ever work with stuff um, in the melting pot and you try to wait for something to cool when it comes out of it, it's just, it takes forever. And it has really good adhesion as well when you're putting stuff in here. 
So that's why I'm being pretty aggressive, just chipping off that excess. And we'll work on this little one. So this just gives your embellishments, charms. So even if you wanted to do, let's say you didn't want to color it with embossing powder. Maybe you wanted to color your charms uh, with alcohol ink or even acrylic paint. It's just a quick way to give it an enameled look instead of putting glossy accents or anything like that over it. And it's much, much faster. It's much faster to me than um, trying to use a heat tool and doing layers and layers with a heat tool. Yeah, much, much nicer. Here I'll go in with Brad. Take that one. Take that one. Take that. Put it in my card or whatever it is. And then you have a great little festive embellishment. And you could have done the same thing on the Brad as well. You know, or take out one of the layers. If you didn't want to have two layers for that poinsettia, you can take that out. Or you can just take the leaves and you can use it kind of for holly leaves or whatever you want. Pretty fun. Cool little accent. So there we go. Some wow. fun stuff.